<clears throat> All right, this is it. I've done four takes already, so we're going to try to make this good. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres. I'm Jason. Uh, this morning, we are up here at the firewood storage. In the last couple firewood videos, we talked about once we get this guy emptied, how we're not happy with the ergonomics of it. I almost hit my head on this metal. That's not good. So we're going to get this thing emptied and then split it in half and utilize it the way it was uh, really intended to be utilized for the design. So we're gonna make that happen. But first of all, we gotta get this side empty. Um, so I've got a new client today and he said to bring one load by and if he likes it, he may take uh, as many as three loads. So hopefully that goes well and we'll get started on this and uh, get it loaded up, come along. All right, so we got the first face cord loaded and uh, we're gonna take this over to, like I said, we had a new customer uh, this week and he may want uh, as many as three loads. So we're gonna get one over to him today and uh, go from there, come along. All right, so we probably had about a week gap in here. That last uh, customer we had, we are hoping maybe they'd get three loads. They got two, uh, which is great. And we're still left with this little bit here. So I got a text over the weekend for another delivery and uh, between uh, one more pickup load and stock in the house. I think we'll have this side cleared out and then be ready to start start tearing it down. Come on. So yeah, we got uh, one delivery out of this and then we're gonna stock the house with everything that's left over. And that should be it. And then we'll get this side cleared out and ready to split them apart. All right, so we got most of it cleared out. Still got a little bit left there, uh, which is really pretty good yield. So these are designed to hold one cord, full cord of wood on each side. So that should be a total of six face cords. And in reality of it, we've gotten, uh, we've already done seven deliveries and essentially um, one delivery to ourselves as well. So that's really a total of eight face cords that came out of that. So that's good. Um, good yield on that as far as space in the structure so i don't know how long it'll be but uh when we get the next uh, order we'll do a delivery and this side will be cleaned out and then we'll start taking this thing apart down the middle and work on shifting it out but uh yeah really happy with this so far so stay tuned i don't know how long it'll be before we come back to this video <clears throat> all right so we got to change the plans on this video originally uh as we discussed before Right here, we were planning to reseparate this building and then spread them apart uh, for the 2024 firewood. But after talking to Miss Kara, and instead of spending time 
trying to move this thing. I already put some forks under one of the corners. I'm fairly certain if I, if I start moving this with the forks that it, it's gonna come apart um, and have to be rebuilt. So instead of spending time doing that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and live with this guy for one more year. We're gonna go ahead and load this up. Sorry, that wind is taking that a little bit. So yeah, so instead of separating it, we're gonna uh, go with it with what we got. And you can see a little bit here in the shadows, but we're gonna get this guy cleaned out. I am gonna add some supports here in the middle. You'll see that here in a second. Uh, just to be able to divide that into basically two uh, pretty exact cords of wood on each side. It's a little bit more than that, but uh, so that'll help. So we're gonna get this guy cleaned up and then uh, we're gonna see how long it takes to fill this up. So this will be over two cords of wood. We'll run the math on it, but uh, it's, it, you know, it's at least a cord per side. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and button this up and uh, get to cutting wood because we are way behind. It's, uh, it's already March or real close to March at this point, And we probably only got two cords of wood cut out of our 10. So it's, uh, it's time to giddy up and uh, start making some firewood. Come on. angle you can see here I just went down the, the center and added some additional supports in here that's gonna allow us to split into just over a quart of wood on each side and what we want to do now is just get up in the wood yard and just kind of go to town here and uh, I want to time I want to do one side at a time time each one and just kind of start getting an average of how long it takes one person to do a full quart of wood with the um, with the current setup that we have. So that's what we're gonna get after. Okay, so this probably is not permanent firewood processing station. I'm thinking maybe more in the woods towards that camper, but uh, this will get us going for now. Laid out some railroad ties just for a cutting table here. We'll bring uh, longer ones up with the grapple tractor. And then, uh, Make our cuts, work our way into the splitter, fill the bucket up on the tractor, take it down to uh, firewood storage that we just cleaned out. Here's the arsenal of chainsaws we're gonna be using. You have seen um, our 271, that's the farm boss. That's been our go-to for several years out here. We've got the little 170 just for trimming and some of the smaller stuff. And then brand new, let me get my shadow out of there. Courtesy of Miss Kara as a retirement present, a brand new Steel 500i, big boy, and we plan on getting a ton of work out of that. So that is, uh, that's what we got. So uh, we're just, uh, we're between 2 and 2.30 now. I'm going to go for like two hours here and see how much, uh, how much we can get done in that time frame and uh, check back in with y'all then. We're just over uh, two hours and we've basically got one face core done on uh, this half of the 
firewood storage building and we've got a bunch of stuff prepped back in the in the wood yard i'm not gonna bore you with a whole lot of video of cutting and splitting but uh we're gonna get after it. everything staged and ready to go so i'm hoping to at least get uh one core done today and uh maybe get the other one done tomorrow i don't know we'll see but uh we're just gonna start uh getting after it going for it so come along So that's all the time we got today to work on this. Uh, I got four hours in on this and I just measured and so we've got back rows uh, five feet tall. We're at three feet approximately both of these guys. So yeah, it's a total of 11 feet, need, a, need 12 to equal a cord. Obviously you can see there's plenty of room in here for extra. Uh, we, when I'm calculating this, I mean, this is a basically a four bin little structure here. So I calculate one cord uh, per quarter, but we also pull off of this to burn for ourselves. And I also like when I sell to customers, they get a little more than a face cord when they get a load. So it all kind of evens out. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and fill this guy up, but just for uh, tracking and time purposes, it's right at six hours total to get right, just shy of a cord. Um, that's with moving cameras around and stuff like that. Um, wasn't being totally efficient or, or moving straight through that six hours. Uh, so I, I think six is probably about the right number um, to process the cord. We'll see how, I'm gonna go ahead and probably start. Yeah, I take that back. So we got some big rounds of this uh, birch that I'm gonna have to get at in the morning and I'm gonna have to flip the splitter vertically. Those rounds are pretty big, move them around with the tractor. That's gonna, ooh, that wind's blowing that camera a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna need tractor help a little bit, uh, moving those uh, rounds around. That's fun to say. Uh, so we'll get through that. That's gonna generate a bunch of material and then uh, get started on this other side here and uh, really just try to bust and move on that tomorrow and uh, go from there. But yeah, we're almost done. Almost, ha almost halfway, come on. trucking along pretty good there and I think I can do this but there is just no tension on the pull starter the splitter so we are gonna have to stop operations there and get that addressed I did cut up what I had on the pile so we've got several rounds here ready to go pretty much all the chains now need to be sharpened and uh, fueled and lubed up so we'll get all those guys done Get those taken care of. We'll get this guy back up and running and I'll take you down to the wood storage now and kind of show you what we did, did get so far. All right, so unfortunately that is it for this video. Uh, I showed you the splitter, had a, a problem with the, uh, the pull cord on that. So we're gonna have to get that fixed. Um, 
but pretty happy with the effort. I know we didn't get near as far along as we would like to. We've got this one all filled except for the last couple feet of the, the front, excuse me, the front face cord. And I don't know if you can tell, but on this side, I've had a couple clients that asked for bigger pieces of uh, firewood. So I intentionally uh, got all, most all of this out of one birch tree and I, I did. I cut those things a little bigger than, than I would typically like them. And then on this side, kind of went back to more uh, traditional what we normally do. Um, I like cutting firewood. Uh, it's very relaxing for me. Um, it's, it's hard work, it's physical. I sleep like a baby every night that I do do it. I don't think I want to do it every day of my life, but I'm glad it's part of what we do here at Waxhaw Woodworks and uh, definitely good. Uh, hopefully that will help make a few of these pounds go away this year in retirement. And uh, I, I do, I just really enjoy doing it. Um, I, I physically get tired. You know, I like working on the chainsaws, split and stacking. I listen to my little podcast or some music while I'm doing it. Uh, day flies by. Um, I feel feel worked and ready to go to bed and eat dinner and all that once I get done. So um, I really enjoy it. Uh, that being said, uh, we will, we'll get the splitter fixed and we'll get this guy buttoned up. But it's probably gonna be a couple weeks uh, before we get back here. We got other projects we got to start working on. So it's what it is. Got a good start on 2024 firewood and uh, we'll continue to expand that. Uh, video's coming up here. We probably need to get that sawmill back up and running. We got to start cutting some framing pieces for the utility building uh, as well as just getting inventory built up and, and that kind of thing. So really excited moving forward here. We're going to be doing some cool stuff around Sunshine Acres. We're getting settled into retirement. I'm really enjoying it. Days have just been flying by. Uh, I don't know. It's been a great decision so far. I know we're only a couple weeks into it. I'll kind of report on that as we go. But uh, I think it's an opportunity for you guys to come join on the journey. I mean, this is a guy who quit corporate America to disappear in the woods and work on his property and cut firewood and work on a sawmill. And uh, most importantly, be at home uh, for Miss Kara. And when she gets home from work, I got to get dinner started right now and make sure that's done. So my main retirement chores are grocery shopping, laundry, dishes, dinner prep, just making sure everything's taken care of. So when Miss Kara gets home, chores and all that's done, and we can enjoy our time together. And uh, so far, that's been working out really well. Enjoyed my time. I uh, hope you enjoy the time with these videos. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, any, anytime you see me doing something that you think's out of whack, I mean, let me know. But uh, hope you enjoyed these videos. If you do, please leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Tell your mama, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Uh -huh.